inside the luxury Lamborghini Falco helicopter. Lamborghini is undoubtedly one of the most well-known automobile companies in the world. It's noted for its robust exterior and exquisite design, and of course the conspicuous bull logo, which, by the way, is the zodiac sign of Ferruccio Lamborghini, the company's creator. Let's imagine for a moment if Lamborghini chose to branch out from creating its V12-powered Aventador, V10-powered Huracan, and the newest twin-turbo V8-powered Urus to make other types of vehicles. What would they come up with? They've already come up with a Lamborghini yacht released in 2021. Now it appears they may be taking things to the skies next. Is Lamborghini developing a helicopter? What would it look like? What features would it possess? In today's video, we take a look at the Lamborghini helicopter. From the Falco's designer to what we may expect from it, we're going to explore the Falco's price, features, and all the magnificence and luxuriousness it has to offer. But first, please leave a like, share, and subscribe. Don't forget to ring the bell for more luxurious videos. And without further ado, Let's get started with this interesting video. A Lamborghini helicopter? Wow, surely we've seen everything now. If you think a Lamborghini looks intimidating on the road, you haven't seen a Lamborghini in the air yet. Falco, which means hawk in Italian, is a fitting name for the Lamborghini craft. The photographs of the concept reveal it to be just as sleek and stylish. The Lamborghini Falco helicopter has all the sharp angles and shiny paint you'd expect. This craft seems like it came directly from a science fiction film. If you're not a big believer in dreams, please stay with us for the next few minutes. As we take you on a simulated ride in the Lamborghini Falco, let's give credit where credit is due before we get into the design. Who do you think came up with a brilliant concept for a Lamborghini helicopter? It's a man named Thomas Zumalakaregui Aregui, a very talented artist and designer. Thomas Aregui noticed a void in the market of Lamborghini and chose to fill it. As a result, the drawing and concept for a Lamborghini-designed helicopter was created. So, this is just but a mere concept craft. Unfortunately, there isn't a helicopter with a Lamborghini logo flying in the air right now. We can only rely on a clear vision. According to Thomas Aragui, the Lamborghini Falco would be able to cruise at high speeds, which we can deduce from the aerodynamic design. It'll also comfortably accommodate a total of nine passengers behind the pilot and co-pilot seats. Additionally, there's additional space for medium-sized items. The Falco helicopter will not be a mere tiny dot in the sky. Instead, it'll be an icon representing utmost luxury. Furthermore, the interior is shrouded in mystery, with a Thomas referring to it as a work in progress. We know that the helicopter model was designed by Thomas Aragui to assist the Italian Coast Guard. However, no other information regarding the Falco Lamborghini helicopter, such as its flight range or power plant, has been disclosed. Thomas only hinted at the possibility that the Falco's interior will be a lot like some of the Mercedes-Benz helicopters because they represent high-end helicopters. So, here's what we can anticipate. Let's take a look at the Eurocopter Mercedes-Benz EC145, another ultra-luxury helicopter. The Mercedes-Benz EC145, like the Falco, was designed to be versatile. It can be used for a variety of applications, including transportation, freight management, search and rescue, medical and military objectives, and even aerial observation. But no matter what one of these twin-engine turbine birds is used for, you can be sure it will be one of the most attractive copters on the market. In 2010, the EC-145 was released. If you're curious about how much the EC-145 helicopter costs, it'll dent you about 8.5 million, which should also be expected with a Falco helicopter or even more. Do you know how the Lamborghini automobiles came to be in the first place? That'll be revealed in a moment because the production of some of the world's fastest and most luxury cars has a long and interesting story. Let's talk about the interior and what we may expect from the Falco. 
With an interior inspired by Lamborghini's finest automobiles, the Falco effortlessly maintains that characteristic elegant Lambo design. So, you can expect to only travel in comfort with all the rich leather and wood features produced from some of the finest materials the world has to offer your inner Falco. You'll also travel in elegance because this limited edition chopper will feature cutting edge in-flight entertainment system as well as stunning subtle ambient lighting. So, what more is to be expected from the Falco? Our hopes are really high, literally. If Lamborghini does develop a helicopter, we can expect it to be infused with Lamborghini's essence and DNA in every detail. For starters, we may expect the classic hexagon and white accents that have been identified with Lamborghini since its inception in the interior. We may see Jeff Bezos or the Saudi Arabian Crown Prince flying around in one of them someday. Let's take a look at another high-end helicopter to get a better idea of what the Falco might look like. The Mercedes-Benz H145 was designed for a wider range of applications. This other Mercedes-Benz chopper is the pinnacle of luxury, designed to take the wealthiest of the wealthy on family vacations, leisure travels, and sporting adventures. With ambient lighting that resembles that of the E and S-Class cars, it's safe to say that the H145 is incredibly something for millionaires, making it the ideal accessory and choice for those who already possess ultra-luxury boats. You could argue this is a long way from Lamborghini's beginnings in 1963 when Ferruccio Lamborghini formed the company. Did they imagine a sophisticated Lamborghini helicopter someday? Maybe, because we've come a long way since the first Lamborghini the 350 GT, if you didn't know. The initial versions had a rear mid-engine and a rear-wheel drive arrangement, which was an interesting detail. Did you know that before inventing the first Lamborghini, Ferruccio Lamborghini owned a tractor manufacturing that still produces them today? So, it wasn't long before the notion of a Lamborghini chopper surfaced. A Lamborghini yacht is there, as we mentioned previously in the video. It's known as the Technomar Lamborghini 63. The Technomar was designed to anticipate the future as evidenced by the use of innovative technology, including a V12 engine on a yacht and extensive use of carbon fiber via authentic design masterpieces that combine stark dynamism with aggression to produce cutting-edge carbon fiber. And it's every bit as spectacular as we'd hoped. And it just looks like Lamborghini is ramping up its game. It's not like it hasn't in the first place. Only in July of 2020, the Urus is Lamborghini's newest and most amazing vehicle yet. Of all the SUVs on the road, you have to acknowledge that the Urus has a road presence unlike any other. With a 4.0 liter twin turbo V8 engine, it's practically aggressive. This beast can accelerate from 0 to 60 miles per hour in just 3.2 seconds. It has a top speed of 190 miles per hour and dissolves all of this while remaining practical and maintaining that characteristic Lambo style that goes beyond merely hauling people around, all for the price of $203,995. That's a long time to wait for the Falco's price. Lamborghini Urus, as Lamborghini put it, was the world's first super sporty utility vehicle. With the engine manufacturing capability that Lamborghini possesses, it might not be that far until we see the iconic bull logo in the sky. With its superbly sculpted bodywork into the technical work to die for, if Lamborghini doesn't bring this concept to life, you can be sure that companies like Porsche or Mercedes will. Which Lamborghini model is your favorite so far? People argue that the Aventador and Huracan in that order are the two best modern Lambos yet. That concludes the thrilling Lamborghini helicopter. On the Falco, that's all we've got for you today. What do you think the Falco will fetch in the market? Comment below, let's engage. Also support the channel by subscribing and leaving a like. That's it for now, until next time, goodbye.